Ginormous. All right, but it looks like we're going to get started right into it. All right, so it looks like we're striking stages yeah. right now. I heard uh, Battlefield is a strike. I mean, I, I can see it like Cloud, you know, or yeah. at least Fox on Battlefield is such a, such a demon. Especially while you still don't have access to, uh, to Dreamland because of, uh, you know, it's the first game. Yeah. All right, but it looks like we are going to FD for this one. Honestly, I feel like this uh, stage favors Fox just a little bit. Yeah. Because Cloud like really likes those platforms, especially like on a stage like Smashville, just to have that safe opportunity to put limit. But in th on this stage, Cloud or, uh, Fox is going to be right in his face from the start. Yeah, I don't think Fox has a quote. I mean, you know, Cloud has a quote unquote bad stage, but if there was right. one, it would probably be this. Yeah. Or at least it's uh, the best stage for a lot of characters in the matchup. Wet doing really, uh, really strong off the gate right now. Yeah, he's just pressuring Eureka, not letting him get anything started. I love that you said that F-tilt to extend the combo yeah. just a little bit further. Yeah, it's really those small optimizations that you like to see. Ooh. A little bit, be... yeah, a little bit hasty trying to pull the trigger on that. He probably would have had more time to charge it, uh, honestly. But I don't think he was expecting uh, uh, Cloud to pull, to pull the trigger right there. Yeah. So. <laughs> Honestly, Eureka's definitely not afraid to pull that trigger. And, like, sometimes that'll clutch in the game, so... We'll have to see if Eureka can pull that out of his pocket. Is Eureka gonna have uh, Fox in an edge guard opportunity? He's actually standing a little bit farther away. Maybe trying to predict the roll in. Um, wow. Trying to, like, approach with that down tilt, and Fred's gonna punish him. And I know that's invincible on the first couple of first to start up. Uh, so good stuff there for Fled for waiting that out. Nice up he had a shield. That's something that Eureka's been telling me about. He's been using it a lot more just like as an option. Like even, like, you see Klaus use up he had a shield when they have limit for the kill, but he'll just use it for that damage. Yeah, it's it's definitely a, a good mix-up uh, because I, I'm almost positive if you can get uh, the hit down if we're still on stage. Uh, but the position he was in, he really set himself up to you know, really get as much out of that up he had a shield as he could. Yeah. And Fletch is going to continue to attack on the damage. Yeah, he's definitely playing this one safe. Yeah, he's a roll with regular cross slash. Yeah, getting some good damage getting off stage. I feel like maybe Eureka should be like opting more for this limit charge here at this percentage. Oh, or nice you can up, up smash out of shield. Yeah. <laughs> the classic. And the dash tag coming through. Not going to get anything started though. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, just, just throwing it out raw. <laughs> I know, I know what time I got Eureka. Yeah, there's, there's only two types of people that take up, you know. Those who hold on to limit. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get at. It's yeah. like, you know, there's the type of cloud that'll use limit immediately. And, uh, you know, if you're in a deficit, it's definitely better to do that because you want to rack up as much damage as you can. But then there's players like, uh, you know, Leo, who will take advantage of those frame buffs. And uh, you yeah, know, only really use it when they know they have a stock. Yeah. For, and honestly, like, Eureka's kind of brought this one back, making it a pretty even game, but. He's off stage with this back area. It's gonna be hard for him. Got an edge guard situation. Fox. I don't think at that point I would have just dropped off and traded with something. Yeah. Like, he's he Yuriko was in a he was kinda stuck in the, in the twilight zone. Where uh, he was forced to use his jump, but he would have had the same drop below the ledge to, uh, oh. to, to recover. Wow, he just like threw out the blade beam and he got hit by the reflect. <laughs> oh wow! I wonder if that up smash was a bait. Or uh, I don't feel like it was a bait, but uh, he just missed the punish on it, so he got up smashed himself. Yeah, that uh, that sucks. That, that's when like you see like something that's super punishable, and you're like, oh, I got, I got this. This is my <laughs> chance for the kill. But and then, and just then, you, yeah, then your hands stop working. So, all right, so Eureka clutching that one out. Yes, sir. Let us see where we're gonna go next in this uh, set here. I believe this is still a two out of three. Yeah, this so. is still two out of three. Actually. All right, so yeah, this is gonna be a best of three for probably the, the rest of the tournament, unless they decide to change it for finals, but. Or we can just, you know, say, screw the cop. We'll have the grand finals in the parking lot. There you go. Wow, still choosing the stage here. Honestly, I think Final Destination, like going running, running it back is the best bet. Yeah, I, I don't, uh, you know, I don't want to take Fox any platform stages or Cloud, vice versa. Yeah. So again, it's one of those things where you're kind of sacrificing your own good stages. Yeah, just uh, to like kind of limit the, like the advantages that your opponent. Yeah, has. try to limit what Cloud can do. Exactly. 
Hey. Rest is many, man. Get used to it. All right, but this time Eureka finding that down zone and getting the up air. Yeah, but I don't. I would hope uh, Fuet isn't too shaken up after what happened. Uh, because he was doing really, really well that entire set. He just made one. Uh, he just kind of dropped the ball on that one uh, second. And that's all it uh, took for Eureka to bring that back. So. Nice side. Side to getting back on the stage. I actually like Fuet's uh, use of being, uh, recovering high. Uh, yeah. Oh! Maybe not so good there. Wow. Okay, nah, I'm still not a liar yet. Yeah, good DI though. Okay. Oh, oh, he just. Oh. Eureka laughing that one off. He just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Eureka looking like Eureka 7 for a hot second. Uh. Alright, nice grab. That's one thing with like both these characters is like their hitboxes are so intimidating. They just shield so much. They can just like grab you. Yeah. But I guess. I guess, like you said, against characters like this, uh, you'll take just getting grabbed. Yeah. Uh, because neither character's really gonna get anything out of them. Uh oh. Or, okay, he did manage to make that one back. Going for the shine there. Yeah, then I, that's when I would have gone off to the suicide. Because you got nothing else to use at that point. Yeah. And there we go, just gonna get to the throw there again. Oh, the dash attack, late hit. Keeping him off stage. Going for the one in the late Trying to get these Fox illusions, but. Uh, Fuet is just mixing up his recovery too well. That should act once again, not gonna uh, kill you. Nice. That was very, very dangerous. Yeah, really good bait from Eureka there, just kind of fading back and letting Fox fall on his feet there. Uh oh. These, yeah, these up air streaks are Fox doing an amazing amount of damage. Oh, not gonna get it this time. And the side beats the other side of the stage here. Wow, standing with the down air and the back air to boot. Oh no, but he still has to jump and limit to be able to get back. And it's one thing like when Cloud like lands with down airs, he's kind of vulnerable on the side like that, so you can kind of sneak up right next to him and get that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, and yeah. the taunt coming off from Fled. Yeah, again, uh, you know, I believe he hit him with a back air there. Yeah. And um, Fox's back air sent you such an awkward angle. Especially for Cloud, who doesn't really have that many recovery yeah. options when he so like that you that Yeah, and like what happens, usually when that happens, uh, you like what happened to Eureka right there, you get sucked into the dead man zone. Yep. Like you're not going to die straight out, you're not going to hit a blast zone. But you can't drift to the ledge to yeah. be able to recover. It's kind of like Buzz in Toy Story when he jumps off the railing. It's like, you know, <laughs> you're not gonna, Toys can't fly, man. And neither can Cloud. I think we're going to take it to Lilac Cruz. Yep. To give him the home field advantage. Now, can Cloud breathe in space? Yes. Okay, interesting. The limit is like an aura of like air that allows him to breathe. So, all okay, right, so he's not like uh, flat armored. So he's flat armored by space. Good to know. Yeah, right. yeah catching him with that down throw and like cross slash. Like, we're really powerful mix up for Cloud because, like, if you shield it, like, the Cloud can just stop doing it. Like, retreat. Now I can, I definitely understand, um, actually wait, no, this is Eureka's counter pick. Yeah, this is Eureka's counter pick. He took him to Lilac. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, Eureka just likes the stage, and honestly, like, the platform layout is really good for Cloud. Right, the, the platform layout is definitely going to help him, but at the same time, you know, I know it's the, the oh, base, oh, wow. that was so smooth. Never mind, it took back everything I said. Honestly, yeah. I feel like the down tilt like, is better to catch at the ledge on this stage because it's harder for Fox to line up his recovery right now. Oh. oh, I believe the tilt might have actually saved his life right there. And now Eureka is going to scare that kill percent with that forward air. He's wow. Steal the stock. Nice stuff from Eureka right there. And Eureka is smiling, like, smiling with the goofiest grin I've ever seen. <laughs> like that grin, it's just like, yeah, I screwed you up right there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, he's going like deep for these uh, for these cross slashes every time. Yeah, I respect the man. You know, he's uh, he's definitely not afraid to uh, you know go out there and edge guard Fox. Yeah, at the very least, it's kind of like scaring him, like making him have to think about his recovery options. Wow, oh, yeah, just his lead is surmounting. Yeah, he's just not looking too good for Flood right now. Gonna get upbeat out of shield, but only gonna get the first hit. Getting it grab. He's gotta get something off his edge guard. I believe we're almost at the transition into uh, Corneria, so the tilt's probably not going to be happening for a little bit. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay. He actually has his limit now. And That's always... Oh, okay, nice. the up tilt's going to catch it. I was going to say my favorite combo in the game is uh, edge guard to limit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get the grab. Uh-oh. Yeah, Eureka looking for these areas. Let's just try to finish it off with the forward tilt. Oh, no, but he's still alive. 
almost got Lyle headed there. It was pretty close. <laughs> you never know, man. I was worried. Like, his, he was at a weird angle there. Oh, okay. He's gonna get the day one combos again. Do we throw up the bounce smash? Yeah, dropping shield. A little bit too early there. And Eureka a little bit of a pop off. Whoa. Good stuff to him. Oh, yeah. Advancing in the bracket. I think, I think making top eight.